Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in to another reverse 1999 video. Today we're going to do a little account overview and my path forward going to get ready for Black Dwarf and the next characters coming out, um, what I'm going to be doing and stuff like that on my account for the next nine days because we do get them dropping pretty soon. Uh, what I want to do is finish off a couple characters that I haven't knocked out all the way. If you guys have these characters and are going to be pulling for Black Dwarf, I would advise uh, kind of following this path as well because it'll give you the best uh, team and option available for her. Uh, first up, we're going to finish off my Tooth Fairy just as much as we can, getting the Resonate a little bit higher. I haven't pushed anyone's Resonate past level 10 yet. But I am interested in Tooth Fairy because she is going to be one of those characters that will just be worth it long term. So I'd like to push someone at least to the max level. I believe the max level is 15 if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me just check real quick. Do, do, do. I don't think it says here actually. But I believe the max level of Insight is, or Resonant, sorry, is level 15. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see what that actually brings and benefits. I'll go ahead and make a video on that as well later on as well. That way I can share with you guys coming from uh, someone that you're wanting to use on your account long term. So Tooth Fairy being one of the characters that definitely is usable with Black Dwarf because she does allow for some extra crit. And with Black Dwarf already having a high crit chance and crit kit, uh, it just adds some spark to that. If you did not pull Tooth Fairy... And you have Balloon Party. Balloon Party is also a very good option for a healer um, with Black Dwarf as well. If you're going more on a budget-friendly, uh, free-to-play style, I guess you can say for team. Getting her resonant to level 10 if she's going to be your main healer, I would advise doing that right now. Just so you can have a full potential of healer and sustainer as well. Along with whatever Psy Cube that you are going to use with her that you have available in your arsenal. So going on from Balloon, Party, and Tooth Fairy, those are going to be your healers in their respective slots. Now we jump down to who can we use for support. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to be using Pickles uh, because he doesn't have to take that many turns. Uh, Pickles is a great... I, I feel like Pickles is just built specifically for a lot of characters that need to be kind of uh, AP greedy or skill point greedy when it comes to taking as many turns as possible to get their ults up or stacking their uh, whatever their uh, abilities are that allow them to ramp up in Black Dwarfs. Uh, she does the stacking of the planets. So of course she wants to use as many skills or incantations as possible to get those stacks as quick as possible. So I haven't pushed him to Insight 3. Uh, he will be the one that I'm going to go ahead and work on. And push him to insight three as well i just want to make sure that i have enough materials for black dwarf when she comes out to knock her all the way up to insight three and get her resonant up to resonant 10. so i will be working on getting the rest of the materials along with the event that is coming um a lot of people don't like to pre-farm if they know the event is coming i think that's kind of silly honestly honestly my opinion is uh, not to just pre-farm everything for both characters because we have more than enough time to do so. And then you have all of these extra materials and stuff you get from the events. Because let's face it, we're human. Some of us may need a day off from the game and we're not able to go in and just farm everything. So we just go and we slap out some of the uh, currency or the, uh, I forgot their name, <laughs> the currencies. We go and knock those out on a daily, the resources, these two right here. Uh, just to get those to be done with to knock our dailies out So that being said, I would say either going for pickles or Anne and Lee would be my two options for the supports for black dwarf uh, I am going to focus on pickles and knock him out to insight three today or tomorrow to get him ready and try to get his resonant to 10 so he will give the best bonuses possible to my black dwarf when I'm using her on a team with that being said, this was going to be a short little video, just kind of giving an update to the account and everything. But I did want to try one more summon on the Jessica banner before she leaves in the next eight days to see if I can get one more copy of her or one more copy of Horopedia. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hopefully we get something good. 
Uh, if not, it's okay. It's all going towards pity towards our um, black dwarf. I mean, I can't tell. Let's see. That looks a little orange. No. Okay. That's just, uh, hopefully we get a horror PD then. That's kind of good. Because that means that this is just one more towards pity uh, going for our next character. Who are we grabbing? Oh, I already have her maxed out. So that is just going to be a lot of lost albums right there. And a bunch more lost albums because I'm pretty sure all of them are maxed out as well. Anyways, guys, please hit that subscribe button. It does help so much. I appreciate you guys for watching. If y'all have any questions down below about characters that you can use in retrospect, if you don't have any of the characters that I was going over in the video, I would assume most of you guys have at least some of those characters at this point and stage in the game. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.